My friend, man did not evolve from the ape, but the ape evolved from man. Oh, I didn't notice you come into my genome. I'm glad you're here. I was just wondering how my DNA was going to be transmitted. The creationists realize now that talking about God or the Bible just doesn't work when it comes to science, so they have dressed up the old man in sheep's clothing and Trojan horse the intelligent design idea under the pretense that there is just way too much complexity at the level of the cell to be arranged by chance forces. Mike Behe's infamous book Darwin's Black Box and Philip Johnson's Darwin on Trial are the two major texts guiding the new creationism. The problem is that both books have been heavily criticized by molecular and evolutionary biologists as being wrong on the facts, wrong on the science, and wrong on methodologies. My personal hunch is that the intelligent design movement is just another attempt for Christianity to shoehorn God back into biology because evolution is such a devastating critique of Genesis. Fundamentalism is a mental disease. To which I would add, creationism is taught only by those who cannot think. Daniel Dennett, in Darwin's Dangerous Idea, rightly said that natural selection is probably the single greatest idea to permeate human thought. Once you understand evolution, then life and its confusions become clear and decipherable. Indeed, it is the awesome simplicity of the idea that completely devastates you. Dennett calls it the universal acid. Once you hold it, it burns through everything, every concept, every ideology, every ism. Is there an intelligent design to the universe? No. And that is why nature's cruelty, ironically, becomes intelligible. As Darwin was fond of quoting, nature is red in tooth and claw and to think otherwise, that there is some compassionate God behind it all, only tortures us unnecessarily. Evolution liberates human beings from the folly of a designer God with intelligence. Chaos in the beginning, order in the middle, chaos in the end. As Robert De Niro rightly commented when asked if there was a God in heaven, well, he has a lot of explaining to do. With evolution, God doesn't have to explain anything because he has been exempted from the equation. In other words, there is no God and thus he is no longer viable as an explanatory alternative. beginning, as was said of old, the earth was without form and void. There was no life anywhere under the canopy of hot veils that shrouded our globe. Ages passed, millions of years, then in due time rivers and seas appeared on the face of the earth and presently the waters teemed with living things. These primitive creatures spawned in the Paleozoic slime life has come down to us through the egg. One after another during the course of the ages, various forms of life were evolved. 